It's Dave Asprey with Bulletproof Executive Radio. Today's cool fact of the day is that you shed your entire outer skin layer every two to four weeks. And those dead skin cells that pile up in your home or office actually may have a purpose. It turns out that scientists discovered squalene, one of the lipids or fats produced by your skin, that's found in high concentrations in your dead skin cells. It actually helps to remove indoor air ozone and increase air quality. So I guess you should like use a loofah all over the place in your house and just kind of swim in dead skin cells, except that's really disgusting. Well, that was a good cool fact of the day, I got to say. Now, today, because of the cool fact of the day, we're going to be talking about things like skin and as a matter of fact, our guest here, Dr. Suzanne Bennett, has a book coming out called The Seven Day Allergy Makeover, and she's a total expert in skin care. Why would we talk about skin, you might ask? The reason is that, well, I'm getting old. See, I'm 41, and I need to look young so I can keep getting jobs and stuff because as you get older, well, it helps you after especially age 50. It helps you enormously, whether you're a man or a woman, to look youthful and healthy because there are lots of studies out there that show people who look youthful and healthy get a job offer over people who look sick and unhealthy. This isn't to say there's anything wrong with aging gracefully. There isn't. But I will tell you, I have no intent of aging gracefully. I have an intent of aging as little as humanly possible. So part of that is taking care of my skin. So I'm making that a priority this year. And that's why Suzanne Bennett's on the show. Suzanne, welcome. Hi, David. Thanks so much. Gosh, I'm so excited to share with you anything and everything you want to know about skin, healthy skin, and any kind of ways to enhance that aging process. Because I'm right there with you, Dave. I'm 52 this year, and so I'm, I'm like constantly looking at what can we do to make it healthier. All right. <clears throat> if you're watching this video instead of listening in your car, your jaw just hit the floor because <laughs> there's no way that Suzanne is 52. You're doing something right on your skin and doing something right um, for the rest of your body. Now, your training, you've been in practice for 24 years. You practice at Wellness for Life Center in Santa Monica, environmental medicine, allergies, molds, and toxins. Might you know something about molds and skin quality? Oh, absolutely. I am, I'm a big, big um, advocate of going antifungal. I mean, I, I, you know, in my book, in fact, it's my a number of four foods that you got to really get a, get away from your your body so that we can reduce inflammation be antifungal don't be exposed to all that so yeah if you know there's so much that we can talk about when it comes to mold but did you know that you can actually have a lot of fungi growing on your skin yeah. you know so there's a lot to be talked about when it comes to mold and yeasts oh this is going to be a fruitful discussion i can tell already but you studied chiropractic not you know plastic surgery or something like that uh what what do you call someone who's who's just a skin doctor like an epidemiologist no an epidermatologist (laughs) just a dermatologist thank you i'm like it's an epidermatologist but the epi doesn't belong there got it i'm like i know there's a name i just i'm not thinking of it because i forgot to take my aniracetam with my bulletproof coffee this morning (laughs) so yeah um, i you know the typical skin doctor is called a dermatologist but the way i got it really into working with skin was because of my son. My, my story really is about when I was a chiropractic, um, when I first started, I was a chiropractic physician, sports medicine doctor. And as a sports doctor, you know, we worked on all kinds of physical rehab, PT at a big, big practice. And then when my son was born, uh, seven years into my practice, he started having all of these allergies and particularly ectopic dermatitis, which is like itchiness, right? Rashes on their skin, hives and things like that. And that started about, about five to six months of his age, very, very young. So, of course, the derm would give us a little um, cream that you put, the cortisone cream in. And back then, I knew nothing about derms, you know, skin issues. So we would use it, and sure enough, it would still come back. And more and more, I just started seeing more allergies. It wasn't just this typical, like, runny nose or sneezing. Cody was sick. He had uh, starting to have more severe reactions, throat closing up. I had to carry it. Yeah, we had to carry literally an, an EpiPen, which is a medical injection device that you had to put it, you know, slam it in the, the, my kid's leg just so that his throat can open up without going into the hospital. I mean, there were some major hospitalizations on, on, uh, for him too. As he was getting older, it just got worse, really bad. So then skin started 
happening. And, and I realized that, gosh, so much of his issues were all about his environment and what he was eating. And that's when I started discovering more and more, did tons of research. I never slept at night because my son was the most important thing to me. And I would work during the day. And sure enough, in, at night, I just study, study, study. And, <laughs> and I found out that there was a lot of things we could do naturally, naturally to heal the skin, and naturally to get rid of these allergies. Okay, so what I ended up doing was I basically changed my entire sports medicine practice and started treating allergies and helping other people get well from the inside out. And then I put all of the information I've had in practice, like, like, like you said, over 24 years, and I've had a huge amount of allergy cases, over 100,000 patient visits I've logged in. So from that, I've gotten all the needle movers that will actually help you get rid of your allergies feel better and get rid of all these hidden allergies that I always talk about. And of course, some of it is skin. People think that skin issues is basically you've got to lather on stuff on the outside, yeah. but it's actually an internal problem, internal. And that's what I found with Cody. I mean, you know that patch I told you about the skin under Cody's chin? Yep. What I did was at six months, I shaved off this entire head. I mean, what do, how much hair does kids have at that age? But I shaved it all off and I sent it away and found out he had a huge amount of nickel, arsenic and mercury wow. in his huge huge i mean like over the top and and because of that that's when i really started like looking at what is going on and why is he at this little age getting nickel in his body right i mean what was going on and you know what the truth of the matter is dave a lot of it was it was coming from me you know i was nursing him and during my um during my prenatal care time in 1994 they knew nothing about 1993, 94, knew nothing about mercury and tuna fish. And oh, no. I all the way through my entire, you know, prenatal time. And, um, and, and for sure, I, it ended up basically creating a, a major damage to my son's gut. And um, uh, the overload of toxicity and mercury was just so crazy. So that was yeah. that was all the beginning of, of how it all started. It, it's amazing what that kind of motivation. Uh, in, in my case, it was survival and yours, you know, mother's love, but you'll stay up late and you'll study for four or five hours a night until you get to the bottom of it. And because of the internet, it's much easier. I mean, when I was a kid, we had to go to microfish. Like I was the very last, last wave of people who had to learn how to use those Never. stupid things. And now you just go to Google and you can go to PubMed and you can get everything. And with your training, uh, in, uh, in medical care, you really have an advantage. And so you learned how to hack some allergies and you've learned the same thing. You can see them in people's skin. People, oh, I have this this ongoing thing. Well, you have gut issues or you have allergies. And, and usually if you eat the wrong food a day or two later, it shows up in your skin, sometimes four days later. And Correct. It's that long lag time that's so confusing for people because they think, well, it should have happened the next day or it should happen like right all at once. Why the time lag? What's up with that? Well, there's several factors. Now, we know about those real immediate hive reactions, right? And those immediate hive reactions are called IgE. As soon as they put something in their mouth, their lips start to blow up yep. or they get hives all around their belly and their arms and they start really feeling that histamine release. And, and that's, that's an immediate uh, allergic reaction. But what ends up happening is that some individuals don't have that and it ends up being a latent. It could be 24 hours sometimes even 48 hours and then sometimes when you're you're ingesting food and depending on why you've got uh these why what kind of a flora you've got in your gut what type of do you have any kind of inflammation um because if you have this condition called leaky gut syndrome it takes a little bit of time if you're familiar with leaky gut it is when you've got a permeability that's really high and undigested food that is bigger in molecule gets into the bloodstream because the holes in your gut are much bigger. And when that happens, it's a longer time for your body to react, right? And then on not just that, you also have a, a, a fact that when it comes to skin allergies, it could be also because you've got a load of bad bacteria and yeast growing yeah. in your gut. And when that happens, it's, you know, we poop, they poop too. So they've got toxins that they're spewing out and those toxins we can absorb. And in your gut, <laughs> if you don't know this, but in the gut, there is actually a, a portal vein in your large intestine. And that portal vein is a connection from the large intestine to the liver. So if you don't poop very well, 
and you don't have good bowel movements, at least one to two a day, big ones, then you're going to absorb those toxins and waste products back into your liver. And where does it go? Swims around and goes into the one of the biggest excreting elements and, and tissue in our body, which is our skin. That's why we sweat so much, right? Suzanne, we sweat I, all the, over the place. I have to wonder, like, why do I keep talking about poop on the podcasts? <laughs> like, it, it's so funny, but like, it's an integral part of your skin health is how well you poop, just like you're saying, right? Huge integral, integral, integral part. In my practice, I, every one of my patients, I talk about everything about their, their bowel movements. Yeah. Their, their regularity, the color, um, you know, the size, uh, is if it's loose, if it's a sinker, you know, there's a lot of things that we can talk about, so, even gas. So, I mean, so biohackers are poop hackers, is that what yeah. we're saying? We've got to fix that. <laughs> Please we're don't Twitter that. that. <laughs> so, exactly. uh, okay, now, I haven't actually asked you about this. Are you using the, the um, upgraded coconut charcoal in your practice to absorb toxins in well, the gut? You know what? Well, I'll tell you what, I definitely do use charcoal, but I just got an experience of yours. You you know, I was one of those uh, people that got to get a couple of really cool goodies down in Tampa when we all hung out together. And oh my gosh, it's amazing what you can use with black, that black charcoal. You can absorb it, and I use it for different reasons. I use it quite a bit for allergic conditions. Yeah. Yeah. When you have allergies or you feel like you ate something wrong. And what I mean by that is that fungal component I told, talked to you about earlier. We can be eating a salad <laughs> and you go out to eat and you're just eating this kind of gross green, you know, M uh, slime milk lettuce. Yeah. Exactly. And you, you could tell. But you're in front of people and you don't want to spit it out right there and then. So you end up swallowing it. Well, if you had like in your little wallet or purse or in your pocket these black charcoal that you use, my gosh, you can absorb those toxins and just <laughs> let it literally eliminate it out without it being absorbed. So yes, those are awesome. It's hilarious. I, I do that with my kids. I can tell you when they eat something weird, they start going bonkers and like you give them charcoal oh. and five minutes later, they're back to their normal selves. Exactly, because you're blocking the ability for the absorption to occur. <laughs> That's right. Now, okay, aren't we being a little picky? So you ate a slightly off wilted piece of lettuce. Like, What's really the big deal from doing that? If you really, uh, okay, for, so let's talk about that. An average person, when they're really healthy and they've got high acid level in their stomach, right, then their body has the ability to kill it and get rid of that fungi, a little bit of mold, a little bit of yeast, maybe a little bit of bacteria. What, what about the toxins that came with the, the mold, though? Those, oh, you yes, can't kill those a toxin, right? Toxins. Yeah. That's absolutely. If you're familiar with aflatoxins, they are chemicals that are naturally produced by fungi, such as, we talked about aflatoxins, they're also called patulin, uh, kojic acid, um, um, griseofulvin. These are all hmm. different What's so funny? I'm just laughing. I, I just, I, I wasn't, I didn't even know we were going to talk about mold. And I'm just like, know, man, you, you totally know what you're talking it's about. It's anyway, keep, keep going. Explain this. Okay. So. Well, all of these mycotoxins, you are going to eat as well. If you're going to be eating some of this mold and mold spores. So if that's the case, you got to watch out. And, and when it comes to um, these types of mycotoxins, it's very, very difficult to get rid of. So using the black charcoal would be excellent too. Oh, that is uh, that is why I use it. That's why I made it, which is kind of cool. Uh, so uh, I, I'm just impressed that you're using it for allergies uh, in your patient population because you know I That's I just designed it for general detox, uh, which is um, a, a legal requirement that I only use it for that. But it's cool to find that that you've found other uh, other uses for it. Now. I want to make sure that we talk about skin because we promised to talk about skin at the beginning. And one of the things that you are, aside from being a practicing uh, physician who cares for people, is that you are responsible for the creation of a new, to date, physician-only intensive collagen serum. So you basically created something that causes amazing changes in skin. I've certainly experienced it. Uh, you yeah. want to talk about about Purigenics and what oh, it does? Absolutely, absolutely. You know. I, I told you earlier I'm 52 years old, right? Yep. And what what ended up happening in my early, early 40s, I'm a huge ocean advocate. I'm a big, big surfer, love water. I live by the ocean. 
Um, I'm snorkeling as much as I can because I'm really, I'm more like a, a dolphin rather than a human. <laughs> Sometimes I think of that. But anyway, what ended up happening very, very early on, my skin was deteriorating. Dave, if you've ever seen my photo on, at the Purigenics website, purigenics.com, it's the only place you can see this, by the way. You will never find that photo on my website because, my gosh, my before photo at 43, I was loaded with wrinkles, loaded deep deep crevices on my forehead all around my um eyes and and then of course i this this sagging and and very creepy looking skin and so i started like figuring oh, i gotta i gotta get my skin i'm totally vain i am i i want my skin to look great because you know what inside i feel great so i want to match my internal to the youth to the external youth and i'm thinking gosh what can i do what can i do and and yeah i, I was in, in the sun a lot i didn't like to use a lot of the sunscreen and the sunblocks uh sunscreens and sunblocks because a lot of times it would get into my eyes and then that would yeah. cause more problems when i'm in the water so um i looked and looked nothing nothing out there was working i've done those 500 dollars little tiny little bitty jars that you get at um you know, the big, big, nice stores, and yep. nothing worked. Uh, lathered on things. I've done it all. Uh, and I, I must tell you, though, I've never tried, um, because of the way my belief system is, I never tried any kind of peels or chemical peels and I, IPLs and things like lasers. I've never done that before. And I, I, I don't think I ever will because it's just not in my nature to do that kind of surgically um, enhancing things. What about not surgically, but more aggressive. What about cold lasers? Do you ever use those for skincare? The ones that don't burn or peel or anything yeah, like that? I have not yet used cold lasers. Oh, I, I have not yet, but I've heard okay. that they're really good. I use I've them. They, they get rid of dark circles pretty effectively. Um, yes, like really that is fast. Correct. Yeah, and collagen synthesis and stuff. Okay, cool. That is good. It's supposed to, it's gonna, they say that it enhances the collagen formation. Yeah. And I have seen people who've come into my office have that, and yes, it looks, real, it looks nice. Um, I'm not sure if it's for everyone. You know, because it all yeah. depends on your coloring. If you notice, I'm tan. I, I, I'm a dark, darker individual. And t t darker individuals have more problems with laser. And I think that's, you know, that's another, oops, that's another reason why um, it's a little bit more difficult. Sorry about that. It's a little bit more difficult. But um, anyway, because I didn't want to use any of these more aggressive yeah. uh, techniques, um, I was so fortunate. I'm Korean. I'm Korean. And, and my one of my dear Korean friends actually gave me a product from korea and it was made by a tissue and engineering doctors in seoul korea and when she brought this back i'm like oh my god i've got to try it and this was in 19 uh that's when i was 45 by the time i was you know i got this product 45 years old and i started using it and my gosh i within even the first application i was blown away now this product is a purified collagen that is medical grade it's a medical grade collagen and the doctors or the, the, the tissue the doctors have completely changed this formula so that it can actually be absorbed through the skin so, so what i'm saying is transdermally absorbed you so, apply it on the face and it's not injectable so the for people who are listening who are familiar with some of the upgraded products that i make i have an internal collagen product that people take so they can maintain tissue flexibility. And the problem is, and I've tried this, you can smear it. Mine is enzymatically processed with small polypeptides and dye and tripeptides, uh, but it doesn't absorb through the skin, except I did once put it on top of a wound that healed much faster. Uh, and I've read some stuff about that, but I don't recommend doing that with a food grade product unless you're just crazy like I am. Um, but yours is the only thing I've found that absorbs through the skin. And there's really good research about you know a lot of collagen and skincare products is kind of decorative uh so yours is the only one i found that had evidence and that actually worked so that's that's one, correct that's one of the reasons we should i guess tell people that it's only been available from dermatologists until right now and it's discounted by about 300 bucks um and it's going to be on the upgraded self site we'll be sending an email out about it as well but you'll be able to order it for this is 399 and this is definitely an information thing, not an infomercial. So we're not trying to sell you here. We're just saying you can get it. You can check it out on Upgrade Itself. It's called uh, Pure Gen X Intensive Collagen Serum and Mask Kit. And the reason it's 399 bucks is that it's an eight-week supply. And you put it on how many times? Like tell people how this stuff works yeah, sure. and how you could use it. And So let me yeah. be clear. This, this you mentioned earlier about the collagen being different. I'm going to tell you what the difference yeah. is. We've, you've got it refrigerated. 
that's that's one yeah. of the biggest factors. If you like you were saying that you've got your hydrolyzed collagen uh, and then it's polypeptides, right? But if it's not refrigerated, then it's not biologically active for the skin. Right. It's different when you orally intake it. So for the skin, you need it to be uh, in a very a controlled, a chilled manner because collagen is a triple, you know, it's like a braid, a triple helical structure. As soon as it goes above about 60 to 65 degrees, boom, all of that ra- unravels. And then it's de- it denatures and it doesn't even work. So if you go into any of these big stores that have collagen in the product and they say they have it, it all it does is it's just gelatin sitting on your face. Number two, our, our product, the way they've made it so that it can penetrate is really fascinating. They've made it in a negative ionized state and it's water soluble. Negative ionized, what that means is this. You know, as we age, our skin actually becomes positive in nature, positive electrostatically. So when it's negative and it, and, and, and the way um, they formulated, they've clipped off the telopeptides, which are these little end products on the, on the uh, protein strands where it causes allergic reactions. So they've cut off all the allergic uh, problems and then, and then they've created a negative ionized. It literally gets sucked in. I mean, it's like, it's like literally because of your positive, state, your body's just really physically attracting it. it and from that electrostatic gradient, it goes in deeper. It's really interesting. The charge on these molecules. Does that make sense? Yeah, well, this is a, a really like this is hacking of collagen and other things. Like we're going in with biochemistry techniques. Oh that yeah, it couldn't be done before. And this charge is the same reason that the charcoal works. Charcoal has a strong negative charge on it. So by playing with the charge on a molecule, you can totally change what would have basically been smearing Jello on your face. To be perfectly exactly. honest, and what you're doing now is taking off the allergen ends, and you're making it so it can actually absorb into the skin because the skin has a positive charge that sucks it in. So it, it's this is why I was kind of actually I was a little skeptical of just of putting collagen on my face because I well I know the science because we formulated the upgraded collagen I put in my coffee this morning right, um, but I was kind of blown away by how it worked and so was Lana. Uh, my wife, uh, Dr. Lana. So uh, that's why you're on the show uh, because you passed the credibility bar pretty well. And, Fantastic. Uh, so- there was no doubt that, you know, as you, uh, you were you were asking about how often. So remember when yeah. I started using it, I was like blown away. I was using it once a week. And I cannot tell a lie. When I was like going to some type of big event or party, I would do it two nights in a row, you know, or two days in a row. And my skin would just look plump. And, and what it does is this. Once the collagen goes, is directly um, absorbed into the basement layer, it actually activates your own fibroblasts. The fibroblasts are those cells in our skin that activates and makes more collagen. So not only are you putting collagen into your tissues, but you're also uh, making your own skin to make more collagen. So that's why as I was getting, when I, when I, once I started after a month doing it once a week, Actually, it was eight weeks. It was a, it's a two week because, can I do a show and tell? Uh, sure. I, um, we, I want to make, it's, people on video can see this. People yes. who are driving, which is the majority of them right now, probably won't be able to see it. So hold it in the let middle. Me, let me explain yeah. that. Hold it in front of you though, so they can see the box. Yes. So in this box, there's eight masks, eight masks that come in these tiny little test tubes. And these test tubes have this uh, actual um, paper mask infused with the collagen. So you're going to be applying it. It's easy. You go into the website, you can see exactly how to do it. But what you're doing is every week you're applying this mask and morning at night you use a serum so that you continue to replenish the collagen. And you do this before and after any of your regular serums and, and sunscreens and your moisturizers. So you do that every day, every week, excuse me, once a week, and every day you do the serum. If you do that, you're going to start to really see the changes. Now, one question I have actually never asked. I went through my first batch, right? Is this something that you should just be doing like every every eight weeks you should replenish? Or is this like a one-time upgrade? Because honestly, like I don't spend a lot of time with masks on my face. And I use a clay mask uh, called Alatura that... that, one of our other guests uh, has just created. And so it's like, okay, there's only so many hours in a day and how much crap can I smear on my face? Like, That's right. <laughs> what's the deal? So, listen, I- I've been doing it since I w- I've been 45 years old, right? I told you I'm and 52 you, now. You so- seriously look amazing. And that's, I'm not just saying that. Anyone who's watching this video can understand that like oh you're, you're doing Here, something you right. Right there. I don't have many wrinkles anymore. Yeah. 
you got to look at my before pictures. Okay. Maybe just, can, I mean. Can I put him in the in the video and just oh, on the blog post? Absolutely. Right, we'll Go do ahead that. and do my before and after. Okay. Because you're going to see the difference. And what I do now is I only do it once every three to four weeks. Okay. Once every three to four weeks, the, the mask, right? And then I do use a serum usually about three to four times a week now. I don't do it every single day. The, the reason is you got to refrigerate it. And more often than not, I forget. Oh, I got to mm-hmm. go to my refrigerator. You know, get the stuff, yeah. put it on, and all that. But then what I ended up doing, because of my need, I wanted to continue the process without needing as much of this. It's an expensive product, right? You know, uh, you, know you, told, you said earlier that it was three ninety nine dollars for everyone. But you know what? The doctors sell this for over seven eight hundred dollars yeah. in their practice. And, it's and just it's, it's never been available online uh, at all. No, right? until like until through Bulletproof. So I, That's um, right. I'm really really eager to bring things out of doctors' offices and put them in the hands of people who don't need a permission slip to buy them. So that's right. Um, sorry if I offended you any doctor notice. friends, but. <laughs> <laughs> that that's right. You will notice that on our website, there's nowhere you can actually buy the collagen formula. Now, what I was saying earlier was that because I wanted to um, continue the process of healing and mm-hmm. enhancing and and plumping and tightening, I started. I figured out different formulations and I created my age reverse reverse serum, and that's also provided for you guys and your your listeners. My age reverse serum has has glutathione in it. Um, if you're familiar with plant stem cells, oh yeah, the one I, that- I, I've used this stuff right. Yes, um, from when we met in uh, in Tampa, and s- s- go through the list of ingredients. People who are listening who know about bulletproof stuff know that glutathione is something I manufacture for internal use, a special thing. It's the primary anti-aging detox thing in your liver, and it's in your skin, and particularly in your brain. So you're using glutathione topically. What else is in there? Oh, glutathione. Okay, we've got hyaluronic acid. Uh, which is a plumper. Uh, oh. We have the. This is my favorite part, and uh, people have not heard of this. But Edelweiss, uh, Edelweiss plant stem cells. And what's Edelweiss is this? Have you heard of that song and sound of music? The Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Uh, anyway, never mind that. <laughs> anyway, it's, no. <laughs> it's it's a plant which is an adaptogenic plant that lives that's uh, grown in or just wildly in the Pyrenees and the Alps and the Himalayas. Right. And because of the cold environment and the sun and the solar radiation issues, the, the plant itself has has developed and it creates its own nutrients and substances that ward off damage, literally cellular damage. So this Italian uh, uh, company has found all of the incredible properties in Edelweiss so that it stops the two enzymes that break our skin down and rapidly. One is called collagenase and mm-hmm. uh, the second one is hyaluronidase. Now, both of these um, enzymes, what you want to do is you want to stop it, that uh, breakdown so that our skin does not break down as quickly. We, we age uh, less. So that's what I put into this age reverse serum is the um, plant stem cells coming from the Edelweiss plant. Now, it's phenomenal. I love, love this formula. Okay, so I understand how inhibiting the breakdown of collagen and hyaluronic acid, these are like major components of skin, how this would be beneficial, but plant stem cells, I mean, I've seen claims that coconut water has plant stem cells, but I haven't actually seen any good science about plant stem cells having an effect in animals. Do you have good science on that, or do you, do you just Absolutely. know? Absolutely. Okay. They've done, there's, we've done study. I will tell you, in my own practice, I've done uh, pilot studies, but the the uh, company, it's the Italian company, the manufacturing company, they have studies and they've done like, um, how do you call them? There's specific studies where they actually read the depth of the wrinkle and they can figure that out. The depth of the wrinkle they found, I believe it's about 20%. They've, there's improvement wow. after a certain number of days. They've done, they've seen that. Okay. They've also studied the actual chemistry. There's a colorod, colorogenic acids in this plant stem cell. There's different chemicals, and these are phenols and phyto... Oh, was it chlorogenic acid? Yes, yes. Uh, you know you know what else is the major source of chlorogenic acid in the human diet? Coffee. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Just, in yeah. fact, all right, this is a total side topic here, but 
um, w- there's a, a film producer who is is really into Bulletproof. And she called me a couple weeks ago and said that she's like, I feel like it's a waste to throw away my ground coffee. So she in the shower, she's rubbing like the, the extra, like the, the used ground. She rubs them on her face as an exfoliant. Uh, and she's like, it feels so good. And my wrinkles are less. I never thought of uh, chlorogenic acid topically and i have not actually tried smearing my coffee on my face but i would uh, so well, anyway you know what that's that makes sense yeah. because you can actually there's a lot of products uh in europe that they use uh coffee ingredients to actually plump up their skin and get rid of cellulite are you familiar with that no yeah, i i didn't there's transdermal uh gels and creams that you can use with the green that- coffee extract or with no um actually they put caffeine in it okay, and they I may actually put the chlorogenic yeah. acid okay oh, yeah. that, that's really you cool could do that. i didn't realize that there was chlorogenic acid from edelweiss i i did notice that the formula totally worked which is kind of like okay it has to work and then we figure out why and how it works um versus saying it should work and then it doesn't actually work um now remember I, i'm someone who's always in the water always in the sun so I need products that actually is going to prevent radiation damage. I need products that's going to prevent any forms of di- di- you no. know, drying out, um, oxidation issues. So, do you I mean, do you mean sun radiation damage? Because I, I don't think we can we can say that it's going to prevent radiation damage unless you mean solar radiation damage, like like sun damage, well, right? Because like Fukushima and things like that, like this isn't going to do anything for that. Um, let's talk a little bit about that because okay. I, there's glutathione, mm-hmm. a load of it. Yep. A load of glutathione in this product. And we all know that glutathione is the master antioxidant. If you've got exposures, orally, let's say, you know, and, and as well as even externally, if you have glutathione within your body as well as even in your skin, the likelihood of you damaging your cells is far less. So there, there is a reason that I use like five doses of glutathione before I get on an airplane that has lots of radiation from exactly. flying high up in the sky in sunlight. Yeah. Okay. I, I could see that argument there. So I, I just want to make sure we're not saying like all kinds of radiation because even if you're loaded no, with glutathione, you see, there's, radiation, uh, can radiation kill you. to me, <laughs> they're all different forms yeah. of radiations. And our problem here on the West Coast is in, in uh, I live in California, mm-hmm. is that the, the current of water as well as the air current is all coming from um, Asia, Japan to here. So for me, I want to make sure that I get enough glutathione orally, right? So I use the same sublingual oral as well as the ones that I put on my skin. And I've, I will tell you with my patients, you don't need to use as much sunscreen um, and, and sunblock. I only use sunblock. There's sunscreen. There's a lot of chemicals in sunscreen, oxybenzone, things like that, and I don't like them. So I use um, a sunblock, which is a zinc oxide, and only a zinc zinc oxide formula. I do that when I'm in the water. You know what I mean? And what I like to do is I use a stick, and I created <laughs> I created a stick. No, you have a stick. I, I didn't even know about this. Okay, this one. Not on many people. I mean, okay. I should say not many people. You know, my patients know it, pyrogenics, but I created the stick. Because remember I said that I don't like the zinc, uh, any kind of this stuff in my eye. Mm-hmm. This stick is, oh, uh, can you see this? Can you see what it says here? This little icon. Uh, not really. It's got like not a really. wave and a sun. Yeah, there's a wave, there's a sun, there's a snow, and there is a wind. This is an element protection stick. And it literally rolls water off your skin. So I use this when I'm you know, going in the water because I don't want the... the, the um, chemicals in my eyes so i created this so that i can go in the water everything that i create is, mm-hmm. is like i do it because i know that it works for my body wouldn't like just coconut oil around your eyes do something similar you know what it will actually go in oh, coconut okay. oil it's, it does burn the a little bit of the yeah. water like you know where i go i go a lot in la paz in mexico water in mm-hmm. the sea of cortez it's very very clean and and that's the place where i go and it's warm it's like 85 degrees yeah and I, I've had coconut oil in my eyes. It's not that much fun. I, I, I get you it's there. It's not fun. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. So so what I was saying is that with the glutathione, and, and this is the age reverse, in the glutathione, with the glutathione, the hyaluronic acid, um, we've got uh, ascorbyl of vitamin C, which is actually the really nice type of vit- uh, vitamin C that's great for the skin, which reduces pigmentation. It's known to reduce pigmentation. There's been studies on that. Um, and then, of course, uh, we, we talked about the 
plant stem cells. And I've, I've, if you look at the formulation, there's really low, low, low amounts of, of binders and chemicals in it. It's mainly all of the active ingredients to help your body, help your skin uh, t- uh, tighten and, and re- keep that collagen, keep the collagen that you've been putting on, you know, so it replenishes and um, activates your ability to make more collagen. So, so as someone who's spent a lot of time thinking about skin and worked with a lot of patients, um, what are some things that people can do without any of these specific products, like daily practice oh, things? Like, you know, so should you be lo- loofahing or massaging or like, like hanging upside down? Like, give us the skin hacking catalog of tricks that we can do. So, number one, get probiotic soap. You know that in this little inch of, of your skin, there's like a billion bacteria living right there. Bugs, bacteria, fungi, we talked about that, as well as even viruses. So you want to make sure that your flora on your outside is is healthy. And, you know, they say that family floras are all linked together. You, you guys have similar floras. In fact, if you have an animal, your flora shifts, you know, because you're always touching that animal, the hair. So you want to make sure that you clean your body with a healthy, healthy soap that does not create any damage, irritations, dryness. Number two. I would get a shower filter. And I don't mean the little one. I mean the big one that's about a, a foot long with a charcoal, full charcoal filter that you attach to your shower head. Why not, then you, why not just do it in the whole house? I, I've always done oh, like a giant charcoal that, filter for the whole house. It, sure, absolutely. But not okay. everyone, you know, some people that live in apartments. That's true. They don't own their own place. Yeah. And you can't do that. And so, yes, a whole house is what I've got. And I totally agree on that because then you're going to get rid of everything. What I also have is a fluoride a whole house fluoride uh, filter. Um, many people don't know about this, but you know, of course, Amer- across America, we are all inundated with fluoridated water. So that's it, that's another story that we can talk about another time. But fluoride is un- unhealthy as well. Now, so is it is it unhealthy for your skin? I, I we've talked on the show about what it does to your thyroid and like how it's kind of a waste product of the aluminum manufacturing pro- uh, uh, industrial process. Like yeah, and it's it's just not good for you. But if we assume it's not good for you, what does fluoride do to your skin specifically? Well, the way I look at it is this. Your skin is your third lung and it breathes. You sweat through, you absorb through the skin. Why do you think there's so many drugs with patches on it these days? You know what I'm saying? So what what you want to know, you want to remember is that our skin absorbs. So when there's chemicals of fluoride, as well as chlorine and all the other toxins that may be, including arsenic in our water. Uranium is very high in California waters, right, uranium. And the reason is is because uranium, um, we have a lot of granite. And uh, our water comes from the California aqueduct, which is in Colorado. And the, there's granite, and granite has a lot of uranium in it. So anyway, all of these toxins can go through the skin. And what you want to do is this. You want to have healthy skin so that you're not overly burdening your body. Remember, n- including your gut, your skin has a huge, huge immune system. So if you're burdening your body constantly with toxins and chemicals and bugs, then your immunity on the inside is not going to be as strong for the rest of the body. Does that make sense? Uh- so I'm sure that some people listening to this are like, oh, give me a break, more about toxins. I, it makes sense to me. It's been my experience. I used to have all these horrible skin rashes and I get these really deep pimples and all these things and they've been gone for years. And I am really picky about the kind of soap that I'll use on my skin uh, for exactly the same reasons. I don't use toxins. I filter my water. Uh, I don't even like taking showers at hotels because I'm like, God, this water smells like like they diluted it with Clorox to save money on clean water. Like it's it's gross. And I can tell my skin gets dry and it's unhealthy. So it's like take a fast cold shower so I do less damage to my skin with just what's in the water. So it makes total sense to me. And for people who are listening to this going, oh, give me a break, my skin's just fine. Well, if you're even using industrial grade petroleum-based soap for a long time, and you're just not following a practice of, of lowering the toxic burden on your skin, well, you're getting what you're used to getting, but there's a lot of upside potential for your overall health, not to mention how you look, if you pay a little bit of attention to it, and there's more if you pay more attention. It's just a variable to manage, just like eating a clean diet, just like you know exercising the right amount, not too much, not too little. It, it's just a variable to manage, but I think it's an important one, and what you said there matches my experience and my research. 
That's right. I believe that healthy skin leads to better health. That's something that I've always said. And and when you've got a healthier skin, then you also your ability to manage with the external environment is better, right? Not just that, is that your skin, it's proprioception. You read energy through your skin. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's true. We exude an energetic field, right? And it can, it's not just here, it's big. If you've got unhealthy skin, you've got acne, you don't feel good inside. You don't feel good if your outside doesn't match your inside. And you've got to also know you can detox through the skin. Like I said, you, you were saying you had these larger pimples. That's because your body needed stuff to get out. So but there's a way to get your your skin and cleanse it through the process of exfoliation. And I've actually written all about this. I've written it in a Huffington Post um, blog. I, I'm, a, I'm a Huffington Post um, blogger. And one of my first, first articles was all about having to detox through the skin and how to do it step by step. You know, and there's special kind of cloths that you can use and exfoliate. And when you get that skin feeling really nice and buttery, like a baby skin after you've exfoliated, you feel phenomenal, phenomenal. It's- so there is a lot of things that you can do to to continue to get healthier body internally. You've got to get healthy. You got to maintain a healthy skin outside. So I definitely understand what you know, the radiant glow of healthy skin. I haven't seen any research that says that you know, the energetic field around your body is influenced by the health of your skin. That that might, I don't know, do you have some research about that? Because I, I have research about the field outside the body and what it's shaped okay, like so and what organs it comes from. But like, yeah. is this is this like Let's more of a that. spiritually kind of a no, little bit no, everything? You know, or is this like hard curly, science? Have you ever had a curly in photography? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really that. You know, okay. it's like so, okay, you've so got to... You, That's you're what saying I'm saying when your skin is clean, the, the curly in photography looks different. And and even ultra and you've seen um, ultrasound. No, excuse me, ultra, thermo, thermography. Yeah. Right. Thermographies. You can tell when you've got. And I've I have a, um, a girlfriend who does that for a living. Thermography for breast cancers and things like that. You know, in areas where there's not enough blood flow. There's not enough blood flow. It's cold. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then when there's areas where there's inflammation because of eczema or psoriatic, right? Where there's a really high level of turnover of the skin and, and, and inflammatory. It's hot and red. I mean, there's different areas and you can see that. And that's what I'm talking about. Got it. So for people who aren't familiar, uh, thermography is using a very sensitive camera that can tell hot spots, even just a tiny fraction of a degree. And when you look at someone's skin under that, you can see some parts of the body are slightly hotter than others. And it indicates either circulation problems or inflammation problems. So they can be too cold or they can be too hot. And it's phenomenal. It's just like a different view of reality where it's temperature based versus color based. And that's that's neat, even for things like sore muscles or for like misaligned vertebra in your back. You can see like there's inflammation under the skin there because it's hot on you know C1, C10, whatever. I don't even exactly. know if there's a C10, but I'm not a chiropractor by a long shot. C98, you know that one. <laughs> anyway, so. Long tail. Uh, but it's it's a it's an interesting imaging thing. And the other one, curling photography, is more. Um, out there and this is looking at an electromagnetic field around the body and it's been done since the 70s and some of it looks you know kind of strange but one of the more phenomenal things that that they did that kind of convinced me that there was something going on that we didn't explain very well was they would take a like a imprint of a of a leaf at different uh, different ages after it was picked and it turns out with this kind of uh, photography that uses two plates, they can actually get a picture of the field around a leaf, which is kind of cool. And I believe even so after the leaf was removed. So there's a bunch of reading you can do. You'll start reading about like all sorts of more esoteric things there, but there is something happening in curling photography that as far as I've seen, isn't that well understood. And it's probably related to biophotons. So anyway, that's the, the geek explanation for the, some of the people who are Thank listening you. and wanted to know. Thank you. <laughs> now, we're coming to the end of the show, and there's a question that I've been asking everyone on the show for about 100 episodes now. And the question is, given everything you've learned, not just your book on allergies, not just uh, your expertise in skincare, uh, but your whole life, what are the three most important pieces of advice you have for people who want to kick more ass, people want to perform better at everything they do? Oh gosh, that's a great question. I love it. Um, 
You're asking about physical, right? No, I'm asking about people. I mean, what are the sources of ass kicking? That's part of the question. Okay. Number one, the first thing that comes to mind is, is my G of happiness. Number one, G of happiness is G stands for gratitude. <laughs> grateful. Okay. Um, e is for enthusiasm. You've got to be enthusiastic with what you want to do. You want to really look forward in life. Um, number three is engagement. Like you and I are engaging. You know, be, be with your, your community, your tribe, and, and um, find them and really reach out to people uh, and, and, and be passionate about what you do together. That's number one. I would say my G of happiness is really on the top, one of my top of list. Because if I don't have that, then why am I doing what I'm doing, right? And right. I want all three of that to bleed into every aspect of my life. Number two, I would say that when it's physically, one of the physical is sleep. I love sleep. And I can't, I can't tell you how much sleep can heal your life. It really can. Number three would be to create your gut, heal your gut. In my book, I talk a lot about gut and gut health because that's, that's my largest chapter. It's all about nutrition. You do it through eating the right foods, the whole foods, the healthy foods, the organic, um, you know, ones that, that are unadulterated, non-fungally, right? All of that is my three. So I would say G of happiness Sleep can be your medicine too, and let's really clean up your gut and your your nutrition. Awesome, thank you for sharing that. Now, would you also uh, make sure that people know where they can get uh, pre order info for your new book on allergies? And sure, sure. Okay. Well, the book is is out March fourth, of course, and and the allergy book is called the Seven Day Allergy Makeover, and you can literally go to the website the Seven Day Allergy Makeover Book dot com, and when you do that. And, and you, by, by the way, you can go to Amazon. You can go to any, any um, online bookstore right now and get it. But if you do go to the 7 Day Allergy Makeover book, I give you four free gifts. These four free gifts will already start you in getting, um, getting you back on track. Number one, you'll get the, my Do's and Don'ts Allergy-Free Food Checklist, a whole list of foods, what to eat, what not to eat. Number two, you'll get my comprehensive uh, grocery shopping list so that you can take that and easy for, oh my God, these are the things that I know that Dr. Suzanne has said, this is allergy free, I'll, I'll feel better if I eat these foods. And you're gonna see that there's gonna be a lot of foods that you're thinking, well, it's not in there, you know? But that's only because I've done a lot of research on this. And then number um, three, you'll get my, um, acu this is my one of my favorite videos, my BBT, Body Balancing Technique. I created about 10 years ago because I wanted something easy that I can do for myself in the morning so that I can activate my energy points all throughout my body. This is a com combination of um, acupressure, uh, qi, you know, qigong, acupressure, you've heard of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, as well as um, uh, qigong, acupressure, Korean yoga. I love Korean yoga. And then number three, uh, the Kung Fu Shaolin Master Kung Fu Principles. I've, I've combined it all three and I've created the BBT and you can do it under five, five minutes and you feel an incredible amount of energy. In fact, before I just did our, our session here today, I did it all and it's easy to learn and I'm giving that to you. And then my, my fourth one is, is actually my meditation. I talked about sleep. I recommend you to do my morning and evening meditation and it's an audio MP3. So it'll help you relax your nervous system, help you calm your um, allergies down and help you go to sleep, deep sleep. Well, I haven't had a chance to try out BBT, uh, but it's on my list of stuff to try. So yes. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. And if you want to learn more about PureGenics and how you can get it on BulletproofExec.com, check out BulletproofExec.com slash skin, and we'll, uh, we'll get you up to speed on, on what you can do there to get access to the things that were only available through doctor's offices until now. That's right. I'm so excited for you, for your audience to try everything and and you know send me information. I'd love to find out how things are going. I love before and after shots. Awesome. Dr. Suzanne Bennett, thank you so much for being on Bulletproof Executive Radio. We are at least on the day we're filming this number 1 ranked on iTunes, four spots ahead. Congrats. Of, four spots ahead of Jillian Michaels from The Biggest Loser. 
And like, how cool is that? Because the Biggest Loser is all about like starvation and wasting your willpower on re- on ignoring cravings. Whereas what we do on the high fat world here is we hack the cravings using biology. So that's just way cool. And uh, I'm, thank you for being a guest on the show. Thanks so much. Your message is amazing. And I'm so, so fortunate that I, you and I got to do engage today. I'm really, really happy. Thanks again. I'm here to just help you feel better. And in any way I can. Thanks again, Dave. I'm a bulletproof babe. And, and we totally and didn't. You need that t-shirt. You need the bulletproof babe t-shirt. Oh, my God. I'm taking oh, note on. We're kidding. I'm taking yes. note on that one. Um, Thank you. So, so pe- people <laughs> people really should know that like we don't sit ahead of time going, oh, let's talk no, about talk each about other's products. Any- See the head of foam that's formed on it? This is similar to what you get with a latte.